All right, welcome everybody. This is going to be a quick tutorial. I'm going to end up showing you how I use Anti-Micro. Anti-Micro is the program that I use um, to auto aim game. Right now I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint to record this presentation. Um, Bitdefender is yelling at me. So if you look down at the bottom here, I've got Bitdefender, Bitdefender, uh, Shield, Mic, whatever, um, Anti-Micro right there. So there's no no hacks going on on my system. I'll show you my desktop. Take a look at my desktop. Hold on. There you go. That's my desktop. See that? All good stuff there. All good stuff there. This is an awesome screenshot from like way back in the day. King Woo! King Woo! All right. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use anti-micro. First, what you want to do is you want to open up any uh browser now i can't listen to this i tried it i tested it out it didn't work so i can't play music during this so it's just going to be my voice so i'm going to type in anti micro it goes to search again anti micro at the the stores i use the source forge one doesn't matter which one you use and then you just click download It may take a second to initiate. All right, so it'll download. Go to open file. Now, mind you, I already have it, so I'm not going to open this one because I've got my other one preset. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close out the browser, and now I'm going to open up Anti-Micro. It's like that you can see what it looks like. I'm going to get out of this. Uh, I'll go to this main Roblox screen. All right, so this is anti-micro. I'm going to make it full screen. So right now you can see that I have it set up for two different profiles. I have it set up for Roblox and I have it set up for Black Mesa. It'll change depending on the profile that, the profile that you have. Mind you, I'm not sponsored by them. This is just to show you how I do these things in game when everybody says, you know, I auto eat, whatever like that. This is how I do it. I figure if everybody knows how to do it, then nobody can say that I have an advantage. Though most times during wars, I do turn off um, a lot of my autos just to be fair. Um, for that reason, sometimes I keep my auto eat on and I do that on purpose because I'm fighting more than one person. So it's only fair. So here you have the options to hide or quit the app. You have the options. You've got properties, key clicker, game control mapping, etc., etc., And you get the help button. I don't mess with none of that. So I've got a Logitech controller uh, plugged into my PC. And I try to show this in a video once before. But as I start moving around the controller, you can see what I have it mapped to. So... My left analog stick is mapped to AW, AWSD, right? And my right analog stick is, ma is mapped to the mouse. My one is set to auto. So when I click it, it's going to, it might keep showing it. It might not. I got to make sure I turn it off. Okay. So my one is set to auto. This is on my digital pad and I have it on toggle and I have it on turbo. The reason why I have it on that is because that's my food. So when I'm an animal, all I got to do is press left on the digital pad like this. I pressed it twice because I want to turn it off. And it will toggle the auto on. Right? This is my fireballs, I believe. Yes, this is my fireballs. If you notice, those are set to off. Um, I'm sorry, this is food. Is this food? No, okay. I forget. This is my normal food. Right? My fireballs are set to toggle and turbo. My normal food is not. The number three is my torch. And the uh, R button is to rest. That's like that I can lay down. So I'm going to turn off the auto on my attack real quick. Because I don't want it to keep spamming Q. And I'm going to turn off the auto on my uh, fireballs. All right, so... If you notice when I press the left trigger, it does Q. When I press the right trigger, I have it set to mouse left button. And I can show you how to do this real quick. So this is my attack button. You click on any button and you'll see the screen here. You can select the dead zone, the maximum zone. That's like how soon the analog stick uh, starts responding to whatever you're pressing. So this is not an analog stick. This is a button. So if you notice, it maxes out. I could change the name of it right here if I want to. I could set it as mouse properties, whatever. But right now I'm going to set it to Q. And you just select it. 
I just map it to Q. Now it's set to Q. So whenever I'm playing, all I do is press this button and it'll, sp it'll press Q. Now if I go to the right mouse button, same thing, this is my fireballs. So I could either choose from the presets left mouse button or I can go to mouse, go here, and if you see all, this is all the options on a mouse button. So up is moving the mouse upward, left is moving the mouse left, right, down, etc. This is the left mouse button because we left click. I'm going to click on that. Boom. So that's my fireballs. If you notice, my A is set for jump. My B is set for right shift. This is to shift the lock. You want to make sure that you have this set because this is shift lock right here. This shift makes you run. This shift makes you locked. Shift. I'm going to click that there. All right. E is for opening doors and stuff. Y is my normal shift. So like that, I could run. I don't know what the guide button is. I don't think I have a guide button on this controller. But it says guide button. I haven't been able to figure out which is the guide button. That's why I haven't mapped it. Um, now, if you notice, my back and start buttons are mouse 5 and 4. So my select button... And my, my uh, start button, they'll wheel the mouse forward or back. That's like a zoom in or zoom out. Now, if you notice here on my LS, which is my left um, my left sticks uh, button, like if I press the left stick button in, in Call of Duty, you use this to run. It's set to click two. So it's going to click two and it's going to auto. That's how I spam my food. So while I'm running, all I got to do is press down on that left button and boom, my food starts spamming. All right. Over here, we have the R's button, which is my right stick inward press. That would be the knife button in Call of Duty. And it's set for T, so I can lay down. That's how I can lay down during battles. But I can set this up for whatever I want. I could put command line in, it, in here if I want. Like, like seriously, I could put command line. I could go to others. Um, I, could, I could do tons of stuff here. Um, I could go to advanced. I can put T, right? And then I could make it do that. No, wait. Let's, let's do a space here. Let's just insert a space here. So insert space. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work. Do that. Then I can... Why am I doing that? I didn't mean to do that. So click on here. Insert space. Then here, I can put... Dang it. I can put E. Z, e. And then here, I can put Z. And then here, I can put enter now if I did that correctly what that should allow me to do is when I press that button down it'll lay down there's no key in between there's a little bit of space there I might have to put an actual space there it'll press the type button it'll put a space in there then it'll put an E a Z and then hit enter so that should spam easy if I set that to toggle it'll do the same thing um left shoulder button we covered that right shoulder button we covered that okay so this is anti-micro I could set up multiple profiles if I want for this one um, Roblox game setup and I can switch them for each one that I want. So I could actually set up like a non-auto profile here and just easily press that and I'd be on the non-auto profile, which I probably should do. That would actually be smart. I don't know why I didn't do that before. All right, so let's get in game. So right now I'm in game. Now, if I let's go ahead and see if I could pull up anti-micro at the same time. Let's see if I can make it smaller. Uh, I don't know if I can make this always on top. Okay, perfect. So if you notice, as I move around, you see like as I move around, the buttons are moving. If I press my shift lock button, I can press my run button. Um, I use my other analog stick to move my mouse, or there was a little bit of lag there. Or I can do it like that. If I toggle that, if you notice my fireballs are toggling, let's see if the easy thing works. Let's, let's turn off uh, food and... Okay, so that's not working. Let's go ahead and see if we can fix this real quick. So we have action. In here, we're going to put... Okay, so it says T to lay down. In here, we're going to put a delay. Insert. In here, we're going to put a delay. Insert. E. We're going to put a delay there. Come on, come on, come on. Delay, insert. Z. Let's see, there's a Z there. You can literally write code in this thing. Uh, Z, let's put another delay here. 
insert, and then let's put enter. So if I did this correctly, let's see what it does. Go back to the game. There you go. So all I got to do is press that button inward. <laughs> it doesn't quite work all the time, but let's go ahead and just hit enter. Let's try it again. So it's got to go long enough for the command to execute. I think the T is what's messing it up. Let's go ahead and take this. Go to advanced. Uh, let's go ahead and take that T out. Let's take the T. Delete it out. All right. Let's close it. Let's go back to the game. It's not hitting enter. There we go. So if you notice, now it's functionally like normal. Now I can actually set this to toggle. And basically, it'll keep doing it. So I press it once, and I don't know what happened. Oh, it's spamming the chat so fast that, is it? I can't tell what's going on. Let me see. I don't know if it's actually working or not. Let's go to Turbo. There we go. Oh, wow. It's not even, now it's not even responding at all. So... That's just a brief in, uh, overlook of that. Let's go to back to the T. Let's clear out all the actions. Clear all. Close. Let's turn off toggle because we don't want to go to toggle. I think it was T. Let's go to T. Yeah, T. Okay. Let's go back to game. Let's click on the game. There we go. So now that lays down. Like I said, when I press select and start, I can zoom in and zoom out which is very handy dandy. If I press my R, L, B, my L, B, and my R, B, which are my shoulder, tri uh, shoulder buttons, like in Call of Duty, you use this to throw flashbangs and grenades. If you notice, it scrolls left and scrolls right. That's pretty good, like if you're fighting someone and you don't want to lock on. Let me turn my fireballs on. So you can still shoot fireballs. It's a little bit harder to do, but you can still shoot fireballs at them. Um, I like to shift lock. But you can see I could still use it like that. Um, I'm running here. Let's go ahead and get a little bit closer. But that's how I do it. That's how I do it. That's how I uh, play the game. And if you notice, I'm spamming my food right now. So right now, let me turn, let me turn the food off. I want to show you that in particularly. Let me go back to my queue. And we're going to set it up to auto and toggle. You can actually set the turbo, um, the turbo uh, button. So you can actually use this as an auto clicker. That's actually what I use it for. Mostly like when I'm not playing the game, I just keep the controller plugged up and I use it as an auto auto uh, for my uh, For my account so now if you notice I'm spamming attack and I'm spamming fireballs And if you look it's not even showing it how fast it's pressing it now This is the neat thing. I'm gonna turn off my attack. I'm gonna turn off shift lock and I'm gonna turn around I'm gonna turn my food on Now if you notice I'm eating That's how I'm doing it Now it doesn't always work if you notice, like right now, you don't see the food. So sometimes in game, it'll do one of two things. It'll either, it depends on which one's on first. Like if I have the food on first and then I do that and then I try to turn on the fireballs. Sometimes if you notice, yeah, the fireballs takes over or the food takes over. So it kind of like, it's not that trustworthy because sometimes it takes away, it takes away the fireballs while they're eating. But, um... But yeah, I use that pretty sparingly. I use it like if I'm fighting an entire clan or if um, you know, I'm fighting somebody that's using some type of exploits because this is 100% legit and legal. This is not illegal. This is legal. Um, until, they, until Roblox bans it or Animal Sims bans it. But this is how you do it. This is how you play the game. And the cool thing is this doesn't just work with Animal Simulator. You can do this with all of your favorite Roblox games. You could do this with Adopt Me if you wanted to. You could do this with um, Blockhaven and Lift Simulator. And um, there was a game that I was playing. Um, I forget what it's called. Animal uh, Pet Pet Simulator X, I think it was, with the little animals. But um, even in that, I would still use this to, to do things. Let me show you how the auto works. It's actually pretty decent. Um, of course, you know, it's not going to be as... Um, powerful as a phone because pcs for some reason auto slower than phones but you know you get the idea hopefully youtube lets me upload this because this is gonna be a long video all right so let me uh get in close this is what i normally do i get in close i turn on my fireballs 
and I just press the button one time. All I got to do is press it once, and I walk away. Now I'm autoing. So it also doubles as an auto. Now I can auto my account at any point in time. I could just jump on and play the game. Take that, T-Rex. So that's how I do it. Just like that everybody knows. Just like that everybody can see. Um, I got a text message. It's not hard to do. It's pretty fun. Um, it makes the game a lot easier for people like me who play Call of Duty and play um, other games like that. And I don't even think that it gives you an advantage. Because people like End and um, Jax and Knock, Ruhan, all those other um, PvP greats, GTPs, all those other... Uh, those other um, great PVPers, they can easily destroy me no matter what controller I use. I could use seven controllers. They would still beat me. So it doesn't give you like... It doesn't, it doesn't make your, your fighting better. It just makes it easier for people like me who use controllers. Shout out to Martellix, who not only surpassed me, but now has a 50 lead on me. Like, that's crazy. We were fighting back and forth for 61. I'm going to go ahead and in this video, I showed you more than a couple things because I am a nerd. I showed you how to get anti-micro. I showed you how to install anti-micro, sort of, because I didn't install it. But that's the, that's the file. And I showed you how to use it. Um, some auto-clickers, if you have Bitdefender like I do, Bitdefender is very aggressive for, um, for a virus, virus scanner. And it blocks everything. Bitdefender blocks everything that I try to open. So it doesn't block this, so that's pretty cool. Like I said, you got a nice little auto here. I'm going to set this up to auto after I end this video. You got a nice little way to um, get your food on, to get your food going. There's some people that are good at doing that without even autoing. Like I know that there's some that can do that without even autoing. Um, so yeah, that's how you do it. Now you're like me. Now you can be like me. The option is there. So if, 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 these are huge ifs, I am uh, in a battle. And I'm outnumbered. I mean by a lot. I'm going to use the auto. Okay. I'm going to use the auto. Because I'm outnumbered. And I'm not talking about like. Five or six. I'm talking about like a good amount. Like a good amount of people. If there's like more than that small amount. Because I can, I can take on five or six people. Okay. Sometimes depending on their levels. But if it's a whole clan. Yeah. I'm going to use the auto. Because you know. Yes. Yes. It's kind of uh it's kind of an advantage for me, but y'all got an advantage as well because there's like 19 of you. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I am Matthias Kane Official, always here to help play Animal Simulator, the best game ever. And I am going to be out after you see me awkwardly press a key command to stop the recording. Bye.